USS Macon, CA-132 Baltimore-class heavy cruiser, was launched in October 1944 and commissioned in August 1945 under Captain Edward Everett Pear's command. Initially assigned to the 8th Fleet, she engaged in maneuvers in the Caribbean and served as a test ship for the Operational Development Force. Over four years, Macon underwent experimental equipment installation, participated in naval reservist training, and contributed to midshipmen summer cruises to Europe. However, in April 1950, she decommissioned and entered reserve status in Philadelphia. Reactivated with the outbreak of the Korean War, Macon swiftly recommissioned in October 1950 under Captain Victor Dismukes Long. Serving as the flagship of Cruiser Division 6, she patrolled the Mediterranean during the Suez Crisis, joined the International Naval Review commemorating Jamestown's 350th anniversary, and participated in the NATO exercise, Strike Back. Engaged in ongoing experimental tests, Macon fired the first Regulus missile from an Atlantic Fleet cruiser in May 1956 and conducted numerous operations with the 6th Fleet. In 1959, while aiding a burning Italian merchant ship, Macon's crew fought the flames but couldn't save the vessel, rescuing the crew and participating in Operation Inland Seas. Undertaking various missions, including a goodwill cruise to South American ports, Macon faced tragedy when a plane carrying 19 U.S. Navy band members crashed. She was decommissioned in reserve in March 1961, struck from the naval vessel register in 1969, and ultimately scrapped in 1973 at Port Newark, New Jersey. Her service earned numerous awards and included significant contributions to experimental equipment testing and naval operations.